this, this fresh fade. Oh, oh, shit. What's going on guys, my name's Jack. Now today's a very simple video, but it's a video that I think a lot of you need to know about. I did one of these videos a couple of years ago, haven't done one in a while, so I think it's time to update and uh, do a new one. And it's very basic, it's how to set up your Amazon seller account here in Australia. So without further ado, we're gonna get straight into it. Now before I get into this video, if you do enjoy this video, just give it a like, thumbs up, That'll be very much appreciated. And sub to the channel, maybe hit the little notification bell if you do really like this channel because that's what helps support this channel the most. But we are going to get straight into it. I'm going to minimize my big head and uh, I'm going to show you my screen. I'm going to show you exactly how you actually create a seller account. Very, very simple stuff. The reason I'm showing you though is because there might be a, a few steps that you're not sure about and that's what I'm going to explain uh, while doing so. Now, first things first, before we fully get into this, I just want to explain a little bit about what the selling plans are that are available on Amazon Australia. So today, the one that we're going to be signing up for is the professional. This is because most of the time, uh, what you learn about on, and probably why you're on this channel as well, is for Amazon FBA. Now for Amazon FBA to use their facilities, to use uh, what you're going to need when selling FBA, uh, you're gonna need a professional account either way. And one other type of account you can get is called individual, and that's only 99 cents per item sold. So the professional is $49.95 per month, and you can go for the individual as well, but there are quite some downsides to the individual. So individuals more so, so it says you sell fewer than 50 items per month, you're still deciding what to sell, you don't plan to advertise or use uh, advanced selling tools. So you can't even advertise on the individual plan. Amazon, uh, this individual plan for Amazon is usually if, okay, you've got no idea what you wanna do or you know, even if you want to follow along in this video, but do the individual plan, I would go into this site here, the pricing site, uh, which I will link down below, and you can go and sign up for the individual. But just so you know, what I'm teaching you here in this video is going to be going by the professional. So if you don't want that, then go the individual and you can upgrade to the professional later on down the road. So first things first, what we're going to do is just go to Google. Now, you won't have to use Google because I'll leave the link down for the website down below. Uh, if you weren't using it, you're just using Google, I just type in sell on Amazon Australia. If you're very, very new to this, type in sell on Amazon Australia and it is this one here. The sell on Amazon Australia, build your e-commerce business and it's just the sell.amazon.com.au. Make sure that it's the .au one. Some people get confused. Make sure it's .au if you wanna sell in Australia. So once we're in that, you've just got the main, the main uh, bulk of the website here. Become an Amazon seller, sign up, it, it tells you all about it, tells you what Amazon selling is all about. It tells you a little bit of info, not what it's all about, but it tells you the basics of it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit sign up. Now make sure I get my keyboard ready as well. Okay, so first thing you wanna do, you're not gonna have an account if you're a brand new seller. So you just wanna go ahead and hit create your Amazon account. Okay, so you just put in your name and your email. So once you get your password, you email and your password and then you go ahead and click next. And now we're at the next page. So it says, before starting, please ensure you have the following handy. And it says, we may require additional information on or documents later. So business and contact address. Now, you don't necessarily need a business uh, in Australia. You don't necessarily need an ABN to start this. But for a contact address, you're just going to need your home address. And stuff here like mobile number, more than likely going to have that chargeable credit card. Now a online debit card is fine for this. It doesn't have to be a credit card. And then identity detail. So what you wanna make sure, and what I'm gonna preface this, this is where a lot of people get stuck. When they ask for your identification, say if you have a driver's license uh, or a passport, make sure at least one of them has your current address on it that you're going to place as your address. So just make sure, because what Amazon are looking for is you are who you say you are, make sure that the names on your documents that you're sending to them, the name uh, matches the the information that you're putting into Amazon when you're signing up, and same as your address. So make sure the information is as accurate as you can get it, and make sure the information matches what you're putting into the, these forms that uh, I'll show you in a second. So business location. So it says here, if you don't have a business, enter your country of residence. So again, you don't need a business. Um, to get started. That comes later on down the line. I'm not going to explain it in this video, but an ABN is not required to start a seller account. Uh, an incorrect selection may affect the status of your account. Cool. So I have videos on my channel. I've got a video on my channel already that explains if you're born outside of Australia, 
uh, what you need to look at when setting up an account. I'm not going to do it in this video. This is for if you were born in Australia or if you're an Australian resident, if you're a permanent Aussie resident, we're just going to go by that in this video. So Australia, I'm going to click for business location, business type. Now, what you would most likely be doing is none. I'm an individual. Uh, if you're a publicly listed business, privately owned business, you can do that. But most of the time, if you're new to this, and you're looking at this video, most of the time you're going to be an individual. And that goes under the same thing as uh, an ABN, just an individual sole proprietor. So you want to put in your details now. And then once we've hit agreed and continue, it'll take us to the next page. And this is where majority of the time the bulk of the information will uh, be required to be entered. Okay, so personal information, country of citizenship. There we go. We've got Australia, country of birth. So this is where it would be a little bit different. Uh, if you weren't born in Australia, they may require, Amazon may require some further identification. Depends if you're a permanent resident, if you're visiting, that comes into consideration as well. But if you were born in Australia, live in Australia, it's usually fairly simple. Don't have to scroll down too far right now in this uh, scroll wheel, which is good. Still quite young, luckily. A proof of identity, uh, you can put in, so you've got passport or driver's license. Driver's license usually works if you want like a surefire way to get approved and they don't ask for additional information. A lot of the time it's a passport, but you can try a driver's license and we'll start off with that. Okay, so I've got my driver's license info in there. And then for your business address, again, just put your residential address, that's fine. Cool, so once you've got that done, uh, you go ahead and usually when you sign in, you're gonna need to receive a PIN. So I just put it in an SMS text and just put in your number here. And then it'll send you an SMS text after this page to your phone. It'll send you a pin and then that'll let you to go to the next stage. It says here as well, I understand that this information cannot be changed till address verification is completed. So you can only change it uh, once your verification process is completed, which usually I'll talk about a little bit more uh, at the end of this, but usually it takes, I would say, around 24 hours, sometimes 48 hours, depending on if they are sort of stuck on if the information is correct or not. So that's why it's important to get as accurate as information as you can when you're giving it to them in these forms. So we've got here, okay, global selling fee. You'll be charged a monthly professional selling subscription fee of $49.95 AUD. If you expand to sell in other regions, you will pay the equivalent of $39.99 USD per month. Okay, so once you've got your credit card in, at this stage, just so you know, I've got this up here on the page, when will the subscription be charged? The subscription fee will be charged as soon as you complete the registration process of a marketplace and your information is verified. Just to note, so as soon as you do this verification, it's going to charge you the $49.95, just so you know. Okay, so this is the part where you enter your store name. Now, if you're a new seller, you're probably not going to know what your store name is or you don't have a store name. You can easily just put in your initials. So you can just do this one, JP, because you can change it later on. So don't stress too much about that. It says, do you, do you have a universal product code or UPC code for your products? You're most likely not gonna have any products right now, so we're just gonna go ahead and click no. Okay, so it said the other name was taken. I couldn't use JP, it was already taken, so uh, I just put in something completely random. And it's also, we got here, uh, are you the manufacturer or brand owner uh, for any of the products you wanna sell on Amazon? So most of the time with this kind of thing, you are gonna be the brand owner if you're doing Amazon FBA. If you're not sure, now, I would usually say yes for this. If you're not sure if you want to do FBA or just sell um, another method like FBM where, where you're the one who ships out the products, you could be selling something completely different. You don't have to be doing FBA. I would say yes for this. If you're not sure, I would most likely just say yes anyway, or you can even say some of them if you're not, if you're not sure. I wouldn't necessarily say no, um, so I'm going to say yes for this just to be safe. Uh, then it says here, do you own government registered trademark for the brand of products you want to sell on Amazon? Most of the time that's gonna be a no because um, for a trademark, it usually takes about seven and a half months to get a trademark. You usually don't trademark until later on in the process of selling anyway. So we're gonna say no for this. Okay, now this is the identity verification page. Uh, this just has the overview of what you've put in. I've had to block out most of this information, but this is where you also uh, upload your document. So if you've got a driver's license, it'll say here, upload the front side and the back side of your driver's license. You can either scan it or I take a photo and crop it uh, on my phone or wherever, and then you can upload it doing that. And then it says additional documents, choose a document type from the drop down list below. So you can either do a bank statement or a credit card statement. I just go to my online banking and just do a bank account statement. 
The only reason they want that is to show your name and to show your address most of the time. You can just get one from the last month and just upload that. And that, that's pretty much all you need. You can just get the first page of your statement and um, just upload that. You don't need all the pages. Just get the first one that has your address and your and your name and whatnot. Just your details on it, just so everything matches. It's like Amazon are only doing this just to make sure you are who you say you are, just so there's no sort of fraudulent behavior going on. That's pretty much it. So I'm not gonna go ahead and hit submit because uh, this is just a dummy account. I don't wanna be charged a $50 fee. But once you upload that, then that is pretty much it. You are all done. And like I said, the verification process can take anywhere from maybe around 24 hours. I've had it done under 24 hours before. Um, they've been quite good, especially if it's during the week. Um, somewhere, you know, anywhere around 24 hours to 48 hours. Maybe it might waver each side. It might be less, it might be more. Um, sometimes if they're having trouble verifying your account, you know, if there's some information misplaced, then there could be a problem with that. But Usually they're pretty good. There might be some back and forth, but Amazon are very, very helpful in my opinion. It's very, very simple stuff, but I know that a lot of people get stuck on it and uh, understandable because if you've never done it before, then uh, a lot of the time it's going to be hard to understand and you're not sure if, you know, if your verification does get bounced back, you're not really sure why this can hopefully, well, this video will hopefully explain some of that um, and hopefully prevent that, any of that from happening. But Amazon is a great platform to sell on. If you do have any other questions about uh, account setup or if there's anything else you want to see. Haven't done one of these videos in a while, so it's good to be back to the uh, tutorial based videos. But like I said, give this video a like if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel. But apart from that guys, hope you guys got a lot of value out of this. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.